Hello friends, in this session we will discuss about c -sharp login form using ASP.NET. Previously we have saw how to designing a login form in ASP.NET as we have created a username, password, text boxes and a login form, login button and the label has a validation. So just I am going and hiding this label so that when I am just validating if it is true just redirect and if it is uh, wrong it should show so just I am hiding this label has uh, giving a visible the visibility of the label is to be false okay after that I am just going through the C sharp coding and connecting to the SQL database so so that I am have to double click the login button so that the button click event should trigger and after that I am creating the SQL connection so if I am giving the SQL connection it won't display so just I am creating a use namespace as a using a system dot data dot SQL client if I am declaring this and after that I am giving, creating the SQL connection it should come so after SQL connection giving I am going to create a variable called con and new equal to equal to new SQL connection in that I am just creating the data source and I have to mention the connection string if you are known person you can give as a data source and integrator if you don't know how to give the connection string just to click this master I have created the master database so you click the your database and you can see the properties in the property there is a connection string so just double click it and copy this and you have to paste between the string so just save it and after giving the SQL connection I'm going to create a SQL data adapter which uh, retrieves the data from SQL data adapter and creating the SQL SDA as a variable and new SQL data adapter and in this I am just creating a uh, query SQL query and after that I am giving the connection to the database as I have created the con variable and it has linked to this and it has linked to the database so just just I am creating the SQL query which I have to create that select string from the table name which I am giving select star from table name as I have created in master table name just register form you can double click and give it as register form where where username I have created username password I have registered the user ID first name last name username password just I am retrieving the username and password from this table so just I am needed as a username user underscore name equal to the text box which I have declared in this field is so it is a text box one and it is a text box two so just give it as a single quote double quote plus text box one dot text plus double quote single quote and actually retrieving the username and I have to retrieve the password password equal to which is the text box to single code double code plus text box to dot text plus double code single code yeah I have got this uh, and created the SQL query as well as uh, after that creating the SQL query I have to create a data table which I have to fill in that in the data table so just I am giving the 
creating the data table if I am going to create a data table it won't come so just I am creating one more namespace calling using system dot data which will retrieve the data table so just this one data table and creating the variable has a dt and new data table new space data table function close it and after that I have to fill the data which I have retrieved and pass the query to the database I have to fill this in sga dot fill in data table okay after filling that I have to validate I have to give the check the conditions whether it is true or false so just I am creating the condition as if dt dot rows dot count in the data table there is the row and it should count whether it is one if it is true just I am redirecting response dot redirect to somewhere else as you needed and I am just giving redirecting the page to http forward slash forward slash www dot facebook dot com okay if it is wrong if it is if the condition is false so just I am showing the warning label which have heighted so just I am showing that label as label one dot visible equal to true okay as I have created and you have to just go through there and create the button event so just save it after that if you go and refresh this one yeah if you check this condition where if it is wrong it should show the label has a please check your username and password if it is uh, true it should redirect to Facebook so just I am giving some what wrong information in you as uh, Tom and password one two one two and when clicking the login it should check it should check that whether username and password is in the table I have created I have registered as uh, just uh, look out this one yeah, I have registered uh, two data in that I have mentioned that username has a Tom Jerry and Ron Ball and password has one two three four double five double seven if it is checking there is a ROM Tom Jerry or ROM Paul there I have created Tom only so it is shown the error message so just I am giving the Tom Jerry and password is 1234 if I am giving the login button clicking the login button it will redirect to the Facebook so just look at this when I am clicking the login button it has redirect to facebook.com it has not came because of I don't have net connection so it has just redirect to the facebook.com yeah and that's it for today in next tutorial I will teach about on clicking the login button it should process and then it should show error message or redirect hope you enjoyed if you like this tutorial don't forget to subscribe have a good day